change in my life. When I'm in the house of God, I don't care who is preaching. I listen. When I'm sharing with other believers, I don't care who is preaching. I listen. And I have found out that sometimes I have gotten the message maybe by sitting with another brother, hearing what they are saying, and it ended up ministering to me and it changed my life. The point is that what you feed in is what you become. If you listen to the word of God, that's what is going to be inside. If you listen to the devil with a lot of critics, you're going to leave this place with a lot of critics. Now, let me tell you something. I can come in this place and find the fault in each and every one of you. How you looking? <laughs> All right. You know, how you dressed? How you walking? How you talking? And by the time, by the end of the day, it will turn me off. Whereby I say, ah. Oh. Why? Because I opened my mind to the lie of the devil. Listen to this. This is very important. The devil is the father of all what? Lies. Lies. He comes to do what? To steal, kill, and destroy. So what I put in my mind is what I become. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. I, I will never forget when I was in school. My, son, my chemistry teacher was from Russia. His name was Gorbachev. And all the way I went there, he used to speak English with Z's. You know, Z's, Z's. And so, all when I went there, my mind was not understanding to what Gorbachev was saying. My mind was to imitate how Gorbachev speaks. You know, Z's, Z's, you can bring the combustion <laughs> and hate them mocking. And I left that class hating it and not liking it. And one day, a friend of mine asked me, he says, you're having a hard time in the chemistry. I said, yes, I don't even understand anything. He says, no, you understand everything. I said, what's the problem? He says, it's because you and the Gorbachev, you had competition. You are busy mocking Gorbachev instead of listening to us. I said, what? He said, yes. He said, David, I want you to try when you go there. you find out how your life will change. And I went over there, I sat down and looked at my professor. When he says something, I say, Mr. Gorbachev, I listen. And I, by the end of the term, I was able to pass his class. Why was that? It's because I opened my heart to learning. So the things of God, we can only receive them as we open our heart to learn. The elder believers were fame and faithful in their lives because knowing how to deny this themselves or one is all one is or one has done. They knew how to deny themselves. Are you denying, when you come to the church, do you deny yourself from everything that obstructs you? Do you deny yourself? Because if you don't deny yourself, there's nothing that you listen. And at the end of the day, you don't even like me. Because you think I'm just wasting your time to be in the house of God. But if you listen to the voice of God, you find what the Lord is saying. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's why the Bible says, let him that have ear do what? Yeah. Hear. Let him that have ear do what? Hear. How many have ears here? Yeah. <laughs> Are we here? Yeah. If we are here, then it will change the way how we think. Yes. And sometimes because we would have said so much and we are embarrassed to receive. So we put a facade on the face. Because of what we have been saying. And the thing, when it comes to receive the things of God, we can't literally receive those things. You know, our heart is bowed down. So, I want to encourage you, saints, open yourself and say, God, just as I am without one plea, all I'm of God, I surrender. And I'll share something. The first time when I saw Reinhard Bonke in a a crusade, I didn't like him because I felt that all these guys from German, from they have got some trick. I know that you can put some things underneath the ground, and then the people when they move over there, you you modify the electricity and they, you say the power of God has come, and there's no power of God has come. Then people they are following that, and I pointed that seed into a lot of my friends. I said, Oh no, there's no power of God there, you know. I can demonstrate to you what it goes on. And when I went there, I realized that there was the power of God. 
It was not that man trying to do magic. And that day I repented everything and I started looking at Rahab Bonke that he was a true man of God. The fifth thing, these people they knew and they forsook all things for Jesus Christ. The early church understood the missionary mind and spirit. They knew how to minister to the need. There are those around us and around the world who need our help, who are not able to take care of themselves. The reasons are innumerable. Some of these people, they are too old. Some of them, they are young. They have no strength. Some they are diseased. Some they are injured. Some they are unemployed. Some they are orphans. Some they are widows. Some they are divorced. Some they are oppressed, broken hearted, unskilled, uneducated. Like Elijah told us a story of the young girl that has been having the spirit of rejection. Born in India, left at the train station to fend for her life for two days. Now you can imagine that spirit entered in that child. But it takes the love of God to show that the world is not as cruel as your mother was. Amen. Mm -hmm. There are some people today that are caused because of their upbringing. The way how they are brought. If they don't give themselves to the Lord Jesus, they'll bring everyone, everything that is around them. Including the cat, the dog, the mice, the teapots in their home. They bring everything because of their upbringing. They think everyone is out there to victimize themselves. Even their stereo in their cars, they bring it. Why is it sounding like that? You know, because of your upbringing. You got to reach to that point where you say, you stop bringing things, you start facing reality. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen? Yeah. Say these words with me. Stop bringing things. Stop bringing things. things. Stop bringing people. Stop bringing people. Face reality. Face reality. Now, there's one man in particular who set a godly example. And I'll, I'll share you his name. His name is called Barnabas. Barnabas was a Levite. He was from the island of Cyprus. His name means son of consolation or son of exhortation. Barnabas became a very important person in the history of the church. Okay, here's what the Bible says. Acts chapter 36 and Acts chapter 4 verse 36 and 37. Joseph a Levite from Cyprus. Joseph a Levite. The name Barnabas is his son name. Joseph, a Levite from Cyprus, whom the apostle called Barnabas, which means the son of consolation, saw the field he owned and brought the money and put it at the apostle's feet. Now, if you look at the life of Barnabas, his life became a dynamic example. Why did his life become a dynamic example? I'm going to be closing the, those things about Barnabas. So I'm asking Tiffany and the group to come over here. He was gifted by the Spirit of God with the gift of an apostle. Barnabas. Who is an apostle? An apostle is a person that is sent for. Acts chapter 14, verse 14 to 16, says these words. But when the apostle Barnabas and the poor heard this, they tore their clothes and they rushed out into the crowd, shouting. When the apostle, listen to this very carefully, when the apostle Barnabas and the poor heard of this, they tore their clothes and they rushed out into the crowd shouting. What were they doing? Shouting. What were they doing? Shouting. 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 <coughs> Friends, why are you doing this? We too are only human like you. We are bringing you good news. Telling you to turn from these worthless things to the living God. Who made the heavens and the earth and the sea and everything in them. In the past, he left all nations go their way. You see, when you know Jesus, you can't help him to have joy. You know, that's why sometimes you see me here, I come over here, I jump around, I shout, I scream. It's because I have Jesus. You know, when you, before I had Jesus, the world was on my head and on my shoulder and I couldn't cut it. That's why you hear people, they say, I'm, the only thing that I can do is to commit suicide. But I have 
Jesus now. The world, I can't carry the world. I'm not big enough to carry the world. I give the world to who? To Jesus. He was totally committed to Christ and helping others. He stood up and defended Paul before the early believers who feared Paul because Paul had been a spy and had persecuted the church in the past. This is what Barnabas did. You know, people that say, don't go near by Paul. He's a dangerous man. He will kill you. And Paul says, no. Barnabas said, I defend. This is my brother. He has accepted Jesus Christ. And he came to the point whereby he revealed it to Paul. And he embraced him. And Barnabas, now look to this. Acts chapter 9, verse 27. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostle. He told them how so on his journey had he seen the Lord, and that the Lord had spoken to him, and how in Damascus he had preached, and fearlessly in the name of who? Jesus. In the name of who? Jesus. Jesus. Now here is Barnabas, loving what Paul is. And everybody says, don't go near by Paul. He's a man, he'll kill you. Now if you see someone who came out of prison here, he has a record of murder, rape, suicide, he did this and that. Probably a number of us will not want him in our homes. Despite that person has changed, because we are thinking of the past. But Barnabas, he was a son of consolation. He loved that person. And that's what a Christian, dear friends, means. He was sent forth to exhort believers in the first non Gentile church in Antioch. In Gentile, where there were no believers, he was the only one who was sent forth to exhort believers. Let's not judge people the way how they look from the outside. Because there's something inside Amen. that they need. Amen. Amen. He saved, Barnabas saved with Paul. Barnabas discipled John Mark, not John Mark as well. <laughs> he discipled John Mark. Barnabas and the soul set off. When Barnabas and Saul had finished their mission, they returned from Jerusalem, taking with 